Yes, absolutely. So there are two standalone expansions, so you can play them um, alone in the set. Or you can all mix and match all the cards together and have this big pile of cards and crazy interaction. So that's the way they have been designed. And they bring new um, abilities, so new stuff to explore, new card combinations to explore. But they will keep the mind bug spirit. So they are easy to cross. You can just shuffle the deck and start playing. It will not be a huge additional learning curve, but it will give you some uh, new things to think about and to you will have to adjust your strategies a little bit. The main thing or new part of Beyond Evolution is creatures that start small and that um, become bigger and bigger and develop into something else, into a huge threat towards the end of the game. So. Um, it is uh, represented in the game by cards that have the um, evolution mechanic on it and you have they have three different levels so in the deck there is the level one card and when you play it um, the next turn you can activate it to level up so basically you get the level two creature and you replace it with a card from outside the game to represent the level two creature which is typically stronger than the level one creature and uh, in the next turn you could level it up again to become its uh, ultimate form, its level 3 creature. And um, yeah, those, those level 3 creatures are really powerful. And um, your, your opponent might try to get rid of it before it, you get to uh, develop it to level 3. Um, so that's a bit of a timing request uh, to, the, to the opponent. Is he able to get rid of it before or not? Um, and the other new mechanic in Beyond Evolution is the actions in general so uh, before that you were only able to either play a card or attack with a creature and now you can also activate some of the creatures with with very interesting effects and that allowed us to make some of the effects um, very interestingly because you can repeat them so you can do it in one turn and then in the next turn again and this will uh, yeah just allowed us to explore a little bit more design space and uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a nice addition to the game. Yeah, the other one, the other one is uh, Beyond Eternity, the English name, and this one we wanted to explore the design space of integrating the discard pile more into the game because it's kind of a, uh, a shame that you all the cards that go there uh, don't have any any use anymore we had in the past we had some cards that allowed you to bring them back from the discard pile but we wanted to do some more about it so um, we have developed um, a new mechanic that is uh, has an is called in discard pile basically so while cards are in the discard pile they have an effect and that can be is a permanent effect typically. Um, as an example, um, your creatures uh, get plus one, for example. It could, could be a card. And um, once your card has been discarded or has been defeated in battle, it goes to the discard pile and um, it's then a permanent buff for your entire other creatures. Um, and that's very powerful. But we also have the other um, mechanic of the set, which is called boost and that allows you to take cards of your discard pile and put them under your cards on the on, the, on under your creatures and then they count as plus one counter so this allows you to get rid of cards from the discard pile again so it's a match it's a, a back and forth to get the strong effects into your discard pile but to also get them out again to to boost your creatures and it feels a bit like you build your own strong monster because you can have for example a a hunting creature that allows you to attack creatures specifically and we don't, normally don't make them stronger than power five but with the new boost mechanic you can make like a very strong hunter but by boosting it um, which is then a huge threat on the board but it takes you some time and some resources and this is this is what we what we um, have in the new sets and um, i really like playing with them very good question um, and I can give you my view but I can also tell you that in the design team some people have another view so I prefer to play them separately in the beginning so you should should start playing them um, only with the cards of that specific set because 
they have been crafted in a way that this is a balanced set they work well together their interactions that are really cool and i want people to experience that interactions um, however we have people in the design team that are really really keen on mix and match all of the cards because it's a, uh, it's a lot of excitement to draw a card and you don't know that it's one of the few cards of the set it could be anything and we specifically design the cards in a way so that you can each and every card can be removed from a set and put into another set or all of them could go together we have not made any cards that are so specific that they only work in this set or that they require specific cards to com to be combined with so i can give you an example for that mm -hmm. so we were thinking about cards that interact with the boost mechanic so they for example defeat a creature that has been boosted that could have been a card but we didn't make that card because alone it would not make sense you could not just take this card and put it into the base set for example it, there would not have been targets for it um, and therefore we made the a little twists on those cards to still be able to make those effects but uh, to make them able to to be mix and match with everything and that was very important for us and as a result you can mix and match everything and have a huge a huge uh, pile of cards and inter um, and identify very cool interactions